Hey fellas, this 265 Chevy here, two car garage. Uh, this is a video response for uh, Dog Buddy 32, Larry. Uh, making this video because uh, I saw the video that you made about the, about the comments and stuff like that. And <clears throat> uh, well, let, me, let me first off by saying that um, I think me and you are cool. Uh, I don't think we have any problems with one another. I think we all good. You comment on my videos, I comment on yours and everything. And But uh, I kind of I kind of disagree with you how you did it. Um, reading all the comments on your videos, you have a lot of people writing you, explaining why they make comments, why they don't do comments. We even have one guy on the video saying that he's new and he didn't know that was the rule. Well, there's no rule. The only YouTube Garage Gang rules are is that you be polite, you know, you know, keep it somewhat censored. I'm not saying you can't curse or whatever, because I do. You know, it's, it's just, uh, videos are made for the way that you want to put it, put it up. And it's also made that if you don't want to watch it, don't look at it. What I disagree about, you said that you had a couple of problems with a couple of people that you made comments to, and they didn't have a comment back to you. Well... And the way I look at it there, well, you first off, what you should have did is actually try to contact, contact them personally and talk to them about it because a lot of people are wondering if it's them. Before I replied to you, when you replied to my YouTube, venting on YouTube uh, video about the YouTube Garage Gang, I answered you and you told me and you were all right. But all these other guys don't know that. They don't know if they're all right. They don't know if they did wrong or, or what. It ain't about that. It's, I guess the way you got to look at it is like this. You know, if you want to put a video out and you want to talk about something, then it's either you try to talk to them in person or try to get a hold of them and talk to them in private. But if you're going to put a video out, and then you might as well just say their name so they know who they're talking about. And then they can respond to you why. There could be many reasons why. On YouTube, a lot of people don't even know how. I get everything through my Gmail. So I see every video that comes up. But a lot of people don't even know how to do that. You know. Um, now if you know they personally make sure they just not comment on your videos. Then it's just you just don't want to no more. Or if you do watch them, just don't make any comments. But we don't need no drama, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that you start drama, you feel something personally that you need to get off your chest. I understand that. Kudos for that. But you need to do it in a different way. The YouTube Garage Gang, I feel if you really need any questions answered, you really want it, I'm pretty sure that those people will get it. Or somehow answer it. You know, um, I know myself, I've had a couple of, uh, I had one person in the end of the north, he made a comment on my video that he thought I was mad at him because I haven't made, I haven't made any comments on his video. I respond back to him and he remembers this. I'm not mad at him. I just haven't made any comments and I didn't have nothing to say. You know, I didn't, you know, I watched some of his videos. Did I watch them all? No, I'm not going to lie. I don't watch all y'all videos. I would never have any time. You know, um, here's another example. I sent people my phone number. Tell them I was willing to help them. Give me a call. Best that I could. I never received a call. Am I mad at that? No, not at all. I don't know their plight. I don't know their work schedule. I don't know what's going on in their lives. My feet are not in their shoes. So there's no reason for me to be mad at them, or upset or whatever, because even though I put that gesture out there, they didn't, they didn't uh, take it. Not saying they won't take it. Some people do, some people won't. You never know. I mean, everybody's different. 
But I'm not mad at them. I still watch their videos. I still try to comment if I, if I think I can give them a helping hand on something. You know, uh, and people know that, so I'm not saying anything against anybody or whatever. It's just the way it is. So, I mean, I, I think the best thing to do, you know, you, you say if you got a nut sack, you know, you don't want them to comment on your video or whatever because they don't want to reply to you, then I think they maybe they need to know. And maybe they don't even know they're doing something wrong because... What I saw on your video today, you have a lot of people commenting that don't even, you know, they explain them why they don't comment or they do comment. And I don't think they need to do that. I think you're a good dude. I like watching your videos like I, uh, I wrote to you. I just think the way you did it was wrong. And I just think that you got 300 and something members, well, as far as I know, in the YouTube Garage Gang. And the way you got to look at it, you got a big YouTube garage gang, you're making a bunch of little bitty YouTube garage gangs. Not everybody watches everybody's video, not everybody subscribed to everybody. I, I hear names that I've never heard before when I look at some of these videos. I got to go look up and they say they're in, in the garage gang. Great. So, you know, you kind of pick and choose who you watch and who you, can, who you talk with, who you feel comfortable with, just like in real life. It's just... <laughs> YouTube is no different. It's just people meeting people who they feel comfortable with and who they don't. Some, everybody's not going to get along. Everybody's not going to agree. Like, I love watching Wild Eye Northern Boy. Somebody else will watch him and say he's a total idiot. He's crazy. I love watching the dude. I think he's funny. I love his work. You know? But do I, uh, do I post on his, on his channel a lot? Very little. But have I talked to him on the phone? Yes, I have and enjoyed every minute of it. I've talked to a lot of y'all. I just met a new guy uh, not too long ago. Um, uh, um, Air Force guy, forgot his name. Uh, uh, Napco, uh, uh, it's a Chevy truck. But he was asking me, what was the rules of, of the garage gang? There's no rules. Just get along, have fun, post everything out there that you can, that you want to. And you know, and I don't think a lot of people know that a lot of times if you don't do a lot of videos and you quit doing videos that um, the people that are normally subscribed to you YouTube n normally just drops you because you, you know you're not making enough videos for that person to watch anymore so a lot of times I don't even know people even seeing the comments or they, they do see the comment they might see it two or three weeks down the road you saying they got all these subscriptions my god if I had to subscribe the thousands of subscriptions and make comments to everybody, you know, I would be on the freaking computer all day long. And if they're making money doing it, hey, the world's all about money. That's how it is most of the time. So kudos for them. You know, I mean, if they can pull in an extra buck or whatever, you know. I mean, everybody has a reason for doing what they do. And, and I don't think it's anybody's... Uh, reason to judge anybody for doing whatever they want to do. You know, that's what makes America great, that everybody's free. You're, free, you're, you're a free person to either watch the video or you're a free person not to watch it. And that's your choice. And that's a great reason to be living in America. So I don't want to make this video long. You know, you said post your comments or whatever, but like my my comments are usually pretty short because I rarely do things personal. I don't like, I don't do texting. I'm still old school, which you can see. I got a flip phone. I was the last guy in New, in New Orleans to get rid of my beeper. So I'm not very computer smart. So I got to ask a lot of questions and get a lot of help. So that's how I feel about this situation. I think um, the world is fucked up enough that we really don't, you know, this is our time to have fun and just chill out and, you know, just take care of one another. So um, y'all take it easy. Um, I guess that's about it. 
So uh, I hope that, you know, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I didn't piss you off. You know, but um, that's just the way I feel. So, y'all have a good day. Bye.